what is up y'all it's your girl kayla and we are back with another video y'all already know if you are new here welcome and if you are returning welcome i appreciate every single one of y'all who tune into these videos each and every week um as y'all know i did take a break from youtube for about a month and i am uh, working my way back um during that month i I was busy and there's a lot going on so I do have quite a few updates for y'all y'all saw last week where we had some updates um, and I let you guys know that I did get some blood work done um, to see what had been causing the miscarriages to see what's you know going on um, especially since the first time I got my prenatal labs done when I was originally going with a fertility clinic um, I didn't get all of my labs back from them, and so there was a lot of stuff that just went unanswered. Um, so I have my test results back, and so I'm just going to go through all of them and hopefully answer some questions that you guys might have in the comments down below. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you have any recommendations as well, please also let me know. But um, yeah, so let's kind of get started. Um, the first test that they did, they did about seven tests on me. Um, the first one that they ran was a TSH test that checks my thyroid to make sure it's functioning well. Um, that is a concern for my family just because on my mom's side of the family, we do have a history of thyroid issues um, as well as some family members also having thyroid cancer. Um, so yeah, you know, that was always important to check. So my thyroid is functioning quite normally. The next one is vitamin D. Um, I actually showed up as having insufficient vitamin D. So now I'm taking one vitamin once a week uh, for about seven or eight weeks, I believe, uh, to get my vitamin D levels back up. That isn't as concerning just because vitamin D deficiency is very common in women and it's treatable. You know, you just take your vitamins. Um, so I needed a higher dose of vitamin, uh, because what was in my prenatal pills just wasn't cutting it. So there's that. The next they taught, the next thing they checked was my hemoglobin A1C levels. And so that came back, um, in normal range. I believe that also is the same test that, um, determines whether or not like you are diabetic or anything. And so that came back within normal range too. So no, no diabetes, which is always a concern in my family just because it's prevalent. Um, on, I know for sure on my dad's side of the family, I know more health history wise um, about my dad's side of the family. Um, so I know that's always been a concern. So I always get checked for that. Um, but still, no diabetes, not in the pre-diabetic range or anything like that. Um, the next test that they did run was a lupus anticoagulant test, which also came back negative. Everything was in with or, uh, within normal range. Um, the very next one were two tests, so technically eight tests, but it's the cardiolipin AG, um, what is this? I, IgG and then IgM. So they're two different tests, but both of them came back, um, within normal range. So my test came back negative for both of those. I, I can't even tell you what they were, but they were really low. So, um, I tested negative for any issues with that. Um, the next test was a B I have like everything listed down here. So the next one is a B2 glycoperol. Um, and that one came back negative as well. So that one is specifically testing for, what is it? Anti, it's ASG or something like that, or AS, APS. Um, basically it's a syndrome. And so that came back negative. 
Uh, and then last but not least, there was a chromosomal study done and all my chromosomes came back normal. So um, as for, you know, why I'm miscarrying every time, there's still no answers. And yeah, so I don't know if there's anything that y'all were tested for that you'd like me to to know about um to consider please let me know um yeah things are <laughs> things are a little rough i did not think it would be this hard um just to keep a pregnancy and yeah i'm i'm a bit tired so i yeah i'm i'm tired i don't know the next time I will be trying or if I'll be trying again uh, because this last round was so emotionally taxing um, I will definitely let y'all know more about what's going on with this last round um, in next week's video um, just because there's still you know things up in the air but definitely can use a lot of prayer and you know just positive vibes sent this way um because i am i don't think i'm i don't want to say i'm ready to tap out but i think i'm ready to tap out um i don't know if that means i'll be taking a longer break or if i'm just gonna call it quits and um consider alternatives so we will see how that goes but um yeah i just wanted to go ahead and give y'all the results uh for you know everything that they checked for that way if you're interested in getting checked um you'll know what tests they run and um kind of know what to look out for if y'all have had any other tests that i did not mention uh, please feel free to put them in the comment box down below because again the more information that we are aware of um, you know hopefully the better it'll help us um, and just kind of to circle back even though I'm not sure if I'll try again or the next time I'll try again I will still continue to um, bring relevant content uh, there's plenty of questions and comments that you all have had and so I'm still working through those scripts to bring them to you um, and yeah I I don't know if I'm gonna go back to posting every Sunday um, I may end up doing every other Sunday just because I'm trying to get results back and I'm really trying to figure out what I'm going to do TTC wise um, so I think that'll give me a little bit more time to figure things out. So I'm not just sitting here giving y'all just like guesses or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I think for right now, the next video will be out, not this coming Sunday, but the Sunday after that. So in two weeks and yeah, I will see y'all then don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And yeah, let me know how you're going on with your TTC journey. I hope you are all doing so well and you're staying so encouraged and you're just feeling all the love. And yeah, I will see y'all in the next video.